Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code challenge day by day. In day zero, we will get familiar with the HackerRank platform and how to use their editors to submit your code. The first challenge is to save a line of input from standard in to a variable, print hello world on a single line, and finally print the value of your variable on a second line. The way HackerRank works is they pipe in their test cases to standard in and read your solutions from standard out. In each day's challenge, HackerRank will tell you what the format of incoming test cases are as well as how you should format your output in order for them to verify your solution. They usually also give you some examples of input and output to your solution for you to better understand the problem. Let's get started. Here, we're going to work in Python and solve this uh, by writing our code into this buffer. So you can see that they already have some boilerplate code to help us get started. Um, and the first thing the code does is it reads from standard in, it reads the first line, and saves it to this input string variable. The second thing it does is it prints hello world. Um, so as part of the standard, the expected output, they expect this input line to be printed after hello world. So here, we need to print what is passed in from standard in and saved into our input string. So we'll do print input string. When you think you've got a good solution, you can click the run code button at the bottom and HackerRank will run your code against their test cases. You can also test against custom input by clicking this box here and typing in your own custom input for them to send to your solution. So we can type in custom input. And when we run the code again, it'll use our custom input as the input to their, uh, to your solution that you've written here, and also show you what the output from your solution is. This is going to be helpful later on when we're debugging our solutions later in this series. All right, um, we've solved this day. We're going to submit our code by hitting this button here. It's going to run through the test cases, and when that finished. Yeah, awesome. All right, that's it for today. If you like this, please let me know by liking the video and commenting down below. If you have a preference for language, Python or Java or anything else, uh, please let me know as well. Thanks.